Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Ag Center in Huntsville, Alabama, for the Camp Smile a Mile Luncheon. Uh, I'm just doing a uh, just a special uh, thing today because we're on location. We're, we're not back in the studio, but I am still here with my buddy Jerry Williams, who still does his job well. Yes, sir. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now, I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing some interviews of people who have been involved with uh, Camp Smile a Mile fundraiser for years. Uh, I know you've come down here yes, for I, years. I came down here for years. I've come here for years. Yes, yeah, they have a good turnout, and this is good. This is for a good organization right here it and really is it's very well give you know, over kids what? with cancer and stuff like that i mean that's a, a 575,000, and i believe it's over 26 years but they gave you know they had other fundraisers before then yes. but they've been doing camp smile a mile i will find out for sure but i think close to 26 years yes it's a long time yes. All right, 
Well, we're going to go get some people to do some interviews. You ready? Doesn't work. Here we go. We are with David Latham. And David, uh, y'all been having this benefit for many years. I know, I think I saw where y'all had given over 550,000 or 75,000 to Camp Smile Amount through the years. Yeah, over the last 26 years. Yeah. 26? This has. Before that, we've done it for other, other associations, other benefits. Mm -hmm. But when we got hooked up Smile a Mile, that's where we've stayed to children's ca cancer camp. Right. Well, I know I've come and eat the chicken in a box. We ain't having that today, though. No, or our cooks laid out on <laughs> the cooks They're playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> playing what? They, the boys, well, their kids well, like, are playing I, baseball. I guess that's right. It's February. They're getting yeah. started warming up anyway. Yeah. Jerry, how many years have you come down here? I didn't come down here for the last 10 years down here. I remember when we headed down to Cater yeah. down there. You know, I think that's the first time I come to it when it was down there in the Cater down there. Well, we've had it there. They've had it at, at Jamie's. Uh, Y'all been everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we even had it down there at, uh, what? what's the name of that? Choose Your Gate? Choose Your Gate. Choose your gate. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had about any gate you wanted. Yep. Yeah. She was good to us. We just felt like it was time for a change. We, we wouldn't surprise me if we're back there next year. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know that uh, we, we had companies show up thinking there's going to be horses, but <laughs> I believe it when I talked to you. And <laughs> well, when I talked to you, you, you told me it was, wasn't going to be no horses. We was going to have a luncheon, but I, I mean, I'm I'm glad they came down yeah. here to uh, join in. Well, I mean, it's, it, this thing here is a good benefit for everybody. It helps some kids and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, we appreciate everything that y'all do to do all this stuff. And our our stud fees is going online today through Sugar Creek Farms. Right. Sugar sure. Creek Farms. Yep. Is putting our stud fees on today, and they'll go through next Saturday. Well, I know Dave is good about yes. putting them up he's, on there. Yes, he's, he's starting it at 12 today, and it goes through next Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna make a suggestion. Uh, I know a lot of people, they like to come and watch horses, but I, I, know, I know the USDA showed up just, you know, like they always do, but it would be nice if we had one that didn't have anything but winglings and, and yep, yearlings be the same way. To, to walk around and show because we want everybody we wants that, to see. We might put that together for next year. Well, it would be I good. I had not thought about it, but that would be a, something hey, good yeah. to have. It would be fantastic. I know a lot of people right now, they're talking about the the legal fund that we're coming up with. So we're, we're trying to get everybody's opinion on how they're going to do it. And, and I'll... I'll plead guilty because, uh, what was it, Jerry, three, three, four, well, it was back before the first of the year Yes. that I made a suggestion, but I, I was, you know, I said just for an example, a thousand dollars a horse, which I knew was ridiculous, but I said a hundred dollars a horse. Now they come up with a hundred dollar show card, yes. and to be honest, I think that is about the fairest it's, it's way the fairest to do it. To the, to we all pay our way instead of, it. instead of just people that can. Yes. That's it. I mean, we all pay you, our you, way. You, you exactly right on and that. Jerry said he had to call over and see if, if he's going to have to go get him a show card. But, and I'm thinking all the trainers will get one too. I mean, we will. I, yeah. I would think. I, I would think everybody would because it. You got. It, it, that's a fair way of doing it. Yeah, and if you're a member of the trainers association or the breeders association, racking all walking. Right. You get fifty dollars off the show card. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm a member. I'm not a member of the train. No, yeah, any of them. Any, oh. Anything oh. like that. There's like, what was it, five, six yes. Uh -huh. yes. If you're a member of them, your show card goes from 150 to 100. Yeah. Yes. I'll buy that because mm -hmm. I've got the rack and then the. Yeah. I'm, well, the Tweeba. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Tweeba a shot right now because they're. E uh, iPads. That is one of the. You can go there and <laughs> hey, I, well, I go <laughs> when we're having sales in Kentucky. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you go to iPads, you find out just about anything you want to know about the yeah. breeding of a horse. And to me, the bloodlines is what makes us so great. Yeah, that and our longevity is what makes to me yes. makes us so great. I mean, horses staying and lasting as long as they do. That. 
hey, we've got horses. Jerry and I was talking about one Pacific horse on the way down here. It was over 13 years old, been showing, been going for years now. And now they're going to sell it. And he was making the comment that it'd be ideal for a young starter. And that's what we brought. We bought Bravo Bravo back when he was 13. Yeah. Hey. And we showed him for seven years. Well, I mean, <laughs> it helps these, these young kids to learn how to yeah, ride, well, and they pretty much sit. And there ain't no time him and he talks right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how are y'all looking for the year? Everything looks good. Right. Trying to get another show or two in Alabama get kind of get built back up. You know, we're going to stop in Winchester on the way back and look at the Ag Center yeah. over there. It's a good uh, place. Well, I put out a video last week of... Uh, of, of uh, and I'm, I'm getting lost now. Uh, Sarah Burks asked me to yeah. ask me to look it up for uh, Nick Price. Nick, for, no, for her Alan. 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 Uh -huh. uh, I knew I'd think of it in a minute. I'm, I'm getting old, but uh, it was video from 2009, and it was on. We had to CJ had to dig it up over out of one of those old mini DVD tapes, little bitty ones. Yeah, yeah. But it. Looked great, and uh, I didn't know Alec could ride that good. Oh yeah, I, I thought you know he was one of he these that just he just eat too much. Since that's it. He, 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 I'm glad you said that because every time he puts a picture, hey, every time he puts a picture out, it's of him eating. This is what I had tonight. It's always a big steak or something, just a lot of food on. It, it beats all I've ever seen. You know that show like over in Winchester. This show over here. This area right here, I mean, it ain't too far for everybody it's, to come. It's a, it's, it's a central location. It's a, like a lo location for everything. It's, it's right a here. good location. And I mean, and it's a good road to come here to this place right here. And nobody loves Shovel Tennessee no more than I do. Yeah. you got to leave the same spot. So you are you exactly right. right. you got to branch out. Yeah. We need, we need shows. <laughs> we need shows. We need more people to get involved. Very, I'll it's, never forget the very first Winchester Horse Show. Arm to show one of the two-year-old stag class up there. That's how long it's been. Yep. Yeah. Hey, it, mm -hmm. it's been arm to show. Arm to I'm, show. Having, I'm having a trouble even remembering that one. But people from uh, out uh, around Deckard used to be the ones that did the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, of course, the, that lady, I believe, she passed on and her son quit doing it. Mm -hmm. But it, it used to be a, I mean, there was a ton of people went there. That was a good show. It was, was a good show. Was, we was, went every year. It was a real good show. Most time we just carried one or two, but we'd go show and enjoy the horse show. Well, Winchester show, we I know we we brought back the the Decatur show. Well, we will never have it again because they got rid of the building. But it coming up here, I think, was a a great move. Yeah, and they they're bit uh, the nobody. A lot of people don't know about it. They're Birmingham in the counties right this side of Birmingham have put in and bought the place going into Birmingham right on the side of the interstate fixing to build a big equestrian place. Well, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. I mean, it'll be ideal and just right, I mean, it's right on the interstate. Well, well David, just like you say, everything, we got to spread this thing back branch out, out. Branch mm -hmm. out, like you said. And yeah. I mean, you got to, and you know, and have different places. You got different people that don't, don't know nothing about this horse. That if they go to the horse show and see, they might come back in and, and, want, exactly. and, and might want to get back in and want to fool with it a little bit more. Well, we need to draw more people in. Yes. New people. That, new that people. New yes, people. That's exactly people right. that's not been here before, and that's one way of doing it. Yep. Well, y'all going to be auctioning off different items. Just I've different seen items you silent auction over yeah, there. Gonna, like I said, our stud fees will be online. All right. Well, David, we appreciate yeah, you sitting appreciate, here talking to us. I appreciate y'all being here and take, you know, taking the time to do our association and Camp Smile Mile. Well, we want people to know what we're doing. Yeah. Well, I'm, what we all do. That's it. It's what we all do. That's <laughs> right. right. I'm going to get. thing about the horse business, it's a family deal. You, you got exactly that. Right. And we're going to get some more of the family over here. By the way, before we quit, how's your wife doing? She's doing good. Good. Glad to hear that. Prayers out to her. We appreciate you. And Thank we're going to get some more of your buddies over I here. Appreciate and, and, uh, but you led like the charge. Said, we're a little bit, little bit light today. You can sit and learn a lot from him. He's very knowledgeable about them horses. I am with Larry Latham now. And uh, Larry, like David said, y'all been doing this for 
26 years? Oh, no, a lot longer than that. Well, I'm talking about for Kemp Smilemouth. Oh, Kemp Smilemouth, yeah. He, he, he yeah. said y'all been doing it a lot longer, but Kemp yeah. Smilemouth for 26. 26 years, yes. Well, that, that is great. Oh, it's been good. Mm -hmm. It's been good for, the, good for the kids. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great for the kids. Well, tell me this. How many years have you been training? 60. 60? How old are you? 77. 77? That's right. How old, man? I, I thought I was the oldest one in the group. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Yeah. I'll, I'll catch you for a long, yeah, believe you, me. You just, just keep trying, don't, you don't, catch slow, up. don't slow down. This is the guru of the Racking Horse Association. I remember growing up watching this man win a lot of world championships and doing doing his thing. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you, you do the racking and the walking both yes, in, in right. uh, I've, I've, I've admired your work for years. Well, I appreciate that. We have... just try to do what's right. Hey, yeah. everybody, everybody out here, they have different ideas about this and different ideas about that, but when it comes to a good horse, I like the idea that a walking horse, walking, banging that head, and a racking horse sitting up here. Wearing that but, bridle. What, right here, the, not much of a shake at all. That's right. And it's, it's a yeah. lot of difference. It's supposed to be penalized for the shape. I know. Yeah. It's supposed to. Yeah. But this man, he can tell you everything about it right here because he's been in it for a while now. <laughs> well, here's our problem. You bring them in there that are real good, and sometimes, to me, now this is me, I say, well, that's that's one right there that can win in the racking and the walking if they're going to tie the head shake. But I, I'm like, when I see them, I will judge by that head. If that head's barely moving, but they're they're really getting down there, I love it. Yeah, it, it's, it's well, that's kind of a sign of a true racking horse. Right. If they just get their head stiff and look out of the bridle, well, a lot of difference, isn't there? A lot of difference. Yeah. A lot of difference. You got a lot more swing on the walk and, and reach. Right. And head shape, just good rhythm up mm -hmm. up in the head. Right. Well, you know, the, the thing in this is, this guy right here been in it for so long, he can tell you the difference in between. He can see the, all different changes of this horse business been from when he first started until now. Oh, yeah. I started at club shows uh, yes. riding speed racking horses mm -hmm. and, and uh, just saddle horses, I call them. Yes. Yeah. Well, things do change. I mean, they oh. change through the years, and, and it, it's completely, I mean, it's a lot different. It really is than it used to be. Even the walking horse. Mm -hmm. The walking horse, you cannot compare a walking horse of today to a walking horse back in the 60s mm -hmm. or early 70s. Totally different. Totally different. They're, they're bred a lot different. They got a lot more natural ability. That's it. And I, you know, I give a lot of that credit to the fact that when, when things got bad, people quit breeding everything that was in the pasture. That's right. They started selectively breeding yep. and, it, and it showed up in the show ring. You're right. And, and it shows up today. Oh, yeah. Shows up big time. Well, I know, name some of the top horses that you have shown that went on into the walking horse world. Oh, I done got too old to name them horses. I go, I go by numbers at my barn. We got, we got 70 stalls, and I go, I go by numbers. Go get, go get 60 out. We're going to work, we're going to work 60 today. Right. Well, let me ask you this question here. I know it's hard to tell, but one of your favorite memories of showing a ragging horse, which one would you say? Would would say all your your all time powerful, powerful threat? Powerful threat. Yeah. Okay. Powerful threat. And Market's main man. Uh huh. Uh, both great, great horses. We're going to have to look them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Power for that was, went on, he won the amateur stake. I won a four year old, and he won the amateur. I sold him that year, and he uh, he went on to win the amateur stake and the big stake. Okay. Uh, Market's main man. Uh, Got knocked the eye out. I didn't do it, but he knocked the eye out some way, bruised it, and it got infected and mm -hmm. had to take it out. And I sold him. I didn't want to show him like that because he do his head like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they put him in a breeding barn, and then they, then they went back to riding him. But he was a great, great horse for the rack and horse business. He never did win the big state, but he was, he was a good horse. Well, you know, a lot of the top breeders 
we're not world grain champions. That's right. And some of some of the best breeders from Harlinsdale Farms. Right. As a matter of fact, they had one great breeder that only showed seven times. It never did show at celebration. Yeah, right. That's right. I, I, the name escapes me right now, but I guarantee you, uh, interview I did with uh, Mr. Harlan. Yeah. He told me, and he said, hey, one of the best breeders we ever had. Well, you've mm -hmm. got to start somewhere. You've got to get to them World mm -hmm. Grand Champions. That's it. Okay. Well, there's a lot of horses out here that, 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 that I'm like this. If a horse walks, shakes, and got that, you know, that motion to him, yeah. I don't care who his daddy or his mama is, yeah. I'm interested in the horse. If he's got that right way about it. Yeah. That, that we call it swagger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really going to wreck your brain here now. Mm -hmm. Make you think. Okay. What is what is your first world grand? You know, do you remember what year your first world grand championship was? When you, that you won the world grand championship? No, it was later on. I, I won reserve seven different times before we won the world championship. Okay. Yeah. That's a, uh, well, you just kept a knocking on the door until yeah, you well, got in. <laughs> that was probably the best thing for me because. You know, every time I get reserved, somebody will buy my horse. Yeah, I hear you. I understand. That's probably better than winning. I understand. I understand. Yeah. You know, there was a guy who told me one thing. He said, you know the good thing about placing second? I said, what's that? And he said, they don't ask you to run an ad. Well, guess what? Now you can be second or third. It makes no difference. They still, <laughs> they still, want yeah. You. And, and I've seen them go out and try to buy eighth place horses. Yeah. So, so it it, uh, it it doesn't work. Where it's good, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It is good. We uh, we can win the world championship to well that uh, two thousand. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Larry, I tell you what, I, I appreciate you taking time. Just glad for us. to do it. I, I, back to that camp smile of mine. There couldn't be any any better thing uh, that the Walk North people can spend their money for than when those, we have horse shows and stuff for them kids is to come participate and make sure that they get taken care of. I agree 100%. Yeah, right. I agree. And I, agree uh, I will say this the only time I've ever seen a Banana pudding sale for $300 yeah. was at one of your auctions. Yeah. So yeah. that shows where the people's heart is. Yes, yes. sir. It's been good. <laughs> it, it has. Cakes bring big money. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just been the auction for the for them kids has been great. You know? I, don't, I don't think it could have been they, any better place to spend money than for well, that camp smile. Well, I'm understand. hoping we I'm hoping we raise a good bit of money today. Yeah, so right. am I. I just want to take the time out to thank Larry Latham for taking the time to for his interview. He done a wonderful job, and I tell you, you can learn a lot from that guy. We'll be back right after these messages. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications.
We're still here at the fundraiser for Camp Smile a Mile, and I am with the president of the Alabama Walking Horse Association. Is okay. that it? Yes. Sir. I, I, <laughs> Mr. Dwight Hasty, and uh, of course that's Jerry down there at the yeah. end. He's going to fill in. <laughs> we sent him on a mission. He came back empty. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> he, he, he didn't get nothing. <laughs> Well, Dwight, how long have you been president of the association? This is my second year, sir. Second year. I was thinking I talked to you last year. I believe it was. I believe it was here. Uh, no, nah, it was in the. It was. We were we were working on uh, the uh, house resolution, state house resolution, uh, from the Alabama uh, House of Representatives gave us a resolution because of uh, the Smile a Mile and our donation to Smile a Mile, and yeah. we were talking about that. Well, I know y'all. I can't say enough for that. That is one of the best organizations. That I mean, they just do a lot, and, and y'all have done a lot for them. Yeah, according to uh, their president uh, and CEO, he mentioned this year at a banquet that uh, we are almost at six hundred thousand dollars since 1998, and that uh, we are the longest running organization has given them donations and had given the most that's fantastic shows pe people don't realize what the walking horse does for charities it, and i'm talking about all over the place because yes, i do not the only show that i know that is not 100 percent charity is a celebration and they do have charities on the on the showgrounds yes, yes. so it's uh I mean, it, it, everybody, they have it for some kind of a camp, smile a mile, horse play, great strides, VFW, I mean, you name it. Volunteer fire departments, yeah. these, a, lot, a lot of them we used to go to, so that was their whole budget for the year. Yeah. Well, you know, when we, uh, I've helped do quite a few shows, and when we have them in Manchester, I always call the rescue squad and get them to come and, and feed everybody. Yeah. Because that they do a good job, but no matter where you go, there's other functions that can get in. We've had churches, we've had the 4-H. Everybody just get in there, and, and the walking horse raises funds for a lot of people. It sure does. Well, I, well, tell tell us about all the functions that y'all do do. Uh, primarily, well, well, the ladies auxiliary uh, definitely uh, does a. Uh, show and then all their proceeds go to scholarships to uh, kids that are involved in the horse horse industry uh, and then like I said we'll, there's other shows that will help uh, help facilitate some other shows within the state uh, help promote them uh, like a rev has a show that promotes their football team uh, we'll go to other like I said earlier some volunteer fire departments will help put them put on them there's a uh, Show in Bennington that is uh, for um, that goes to um, St. Jude's. No. And also uh, everything is is all about helping promote the horse, but also while we're doing that, we're helping somebody. Well, that that's the big thing. I, I that's one thing I love about the Tennessee Walking Horse. Me too. He, it's uh, like a, mm -hmm. everybody says, it's like a family. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Supports everything, and then. This year, we're hoping to get more shows to, to start up. Uh, I know down below Decatur, uh, there's a town down there, Coleman, Alabama. I had heard from people down there saying that they was trying to get that show back. Yeah. And, and that would be, I mean, that's a big, Alabama needs more shows. Y'all yeah. have got some, but you but you need more. Yeah. And we got other states the same way. Yeah, there, there's an interest and, and more you, I talk about it and tell them what we do and how the family is involved and then we get other people involved so they, they love it, they love it because how, you know, you know, I tell them from the kid from six and under to, to in their 80s and 90s and, 90s and they're riding horses. Yes. That's it. I mean, mm -hmm. if you can't ride a Tennessee walking horse, really and truly, you, you probably can't walk. Right. And I know people that couldn't hardly walk at Road Tennessee yes. walking horses. It's just so that, that tells you a lot. Well, Dwight, they look like they're getting ready to serve food over here. Yes, sir. But I did want to bring you in because I, I knew that uh, talking to you in the past, y'all do a lot of work, a lot of good things. Well, you, we appreciate anybody who wants to come along, get, us, get involved, uh, and, and 
we will occasionally do some trail rides too. Again, when we have anything, we'll, we'll bring, eat a lot of food, eat a lot of good food, mm -hmm. and then and get to enjoy and good fellowship with other horse people. Yes. And then 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 anything we have for proceeds always go to, towards to Kemp's Mock Mock. Mm -hmm. You can contact uh, either, uh, we do have a Facebook page, but also uh, he, he could either, they can call uh, me and or, or any one of our uh, our, our members. Uh, I know David Latham is a, is a good contact. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. And yes, you have a good day. And I think I'm going to dig into some of these chocolate brownies. Well, we're still here at the Camp Smile a Mile fundraiser, and I am with the renowned, world-known Luther Watts from Mississippi. Is that right? Did that's I do it. that right? That's, that's right. Yeah. Go ahead, pay me now. That's right, I got you. <laughs> Luther is, uh, he's putting on the show down in Mississippi, Philadelphia, Mississippi, I believe. Philadelphia, eh? Mississippi, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit and tell us what we can expect. All right, well, it's going to be March 8th and 9th. Um, we do a two-day show down there on Friday and Saturday. Um, so far, we've got about 150 stalls rented out there, so plan on a pretty good show. Uh, we all, Our charity down there is a rocking our uh, ranch. It's a horse rescue down there in that area. Um, so we give back back to them as well. So we plan on having a pretty good show. So uh, y'all come on and, and have fun with us. That's it. Chris Helton's going to be the judge, right? Yes. yes. Uh, and, and Chris is a good judge. Yes. Now, he, he is. And Jerry, I believe, aren't you going? Yes, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go. I'm from down that part of the of the world and stuff like that, so I'm gonna go and try to help support. Hey, he's like going that. down there. He knows somebody's gonna feed him. That's <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they gonna, they're gonna help. They're gonna help some. Uh, what do they call them? Crawdads. Hey, uh, <laughs> that's one thing us Mississippi <laughs> folks. We know how to eat. Now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't miss a meal, buddy. No, uh. -uh. Well, y'all had a big show down there last year. We did. We did. We had a uh, oh, roughly about probably 150 horses there last year. Um, I'm expecting probably a close to that or even a little more this year seems like cause we're going to have some folks is going to trailer back and forth because they're they're in the local area so well you, you looking you're down there in the dale watts territory now he'll be there oh yeah uh yeah, carol there. baxter i know she that, that's a lovely lady and a real nice lady she she's got some good horses yes, I, they'll I, be there yeah i, I love miss carol mm -hmm. she'll be there um her and uh and dale will be there and all of his customers there will be be there as well so well there's a lot of other things and, and i found that when you go to tunica it seems like a lot of people like to come to tunica because of sam's town hollywood and all these places and that y'all have a big draw down there too we do, we do yeah we've got the pearl river resort down there and it's probably not but a couple miles from the showgrounds um and golden moon and the silver star so they the golden moon is our is our host hotel um, so we always support them and, and they support us of getting us, you know, rates and stuff like that. So, and one other thing, good food. Good food. That's one Good thing. food. That's the, that's the top thing. Good food. They have good food at that motel. Well, all in that all little in town. That in that area. All in that area. Yeah, in that yeah. area. Any kind of seafood, any kind of food you want, you can get it right there in that area right there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you, every Weight Watcher just got blocked. <laughs> we, we ain't a-going. i tell you what, they're serving some good food down here today. Yes, they are. That uh, One of the ladies over there told me, she said, that stuff right there is from heaven. Said said, it is good. And I, it was. Oh, yeah. Real good. Now, they got one on auction over there, too. Your option yes, is off. Yes. I'm gonna try to get Jerry to buy that part. I, pay, I paid him a few minutes ago for for having my horse shot, so he I know he can't lie and say he ain't got no money. He can't say he ain't got no money. I just give it to it. But you know something else about Luther, Jerry. You probably didn't know, but Luther got a, a world champion, multi-time world champion horse that he owns that they show in the ranking division. I've got a three-time world grand champion beyond the border. Beyond the border. Um, he's won. Uh, the 15 to an under world grand championship two years in a row uh, and then he won the juvenile uh, 12 to 17 world grand champion with Michaela Latham mm -hmm. uh, there in 2021 uh, so in 2021 2022 and 2023 we've won but I'm gonna tell you that third one you missed that, that that's that's a jockey now she's a jockey yes, but yes. she she knows how yes. to ride a horse yes, Michaela did, she did a great job with him um, I, I let her show him her 
last year in juvenile. She done a great job throughout the whole year of that year. Um, and then won the World Grand Championship. And then, um, then Steve Bean took the reins over in the uh, trainer's class. And he's done a great job with him, with him as well. <laughs> Well, I tell you, I know a lot of people truck back and forth to Mississippi to the, the horse shows down there, and, and I know I've heard a lot of people talking about going to the Philadelphia Mississippi show. So you you've kind of built that into something. We have uh, that show. Um, that show we used to have it in in June, and then um, back in I guess it's probably 2006 or something that they they quit having it. In the last three years, we. have kind of brought it back and changed the date and uh, have it in March now and, and that's been a been a good success for us of moving it because used to it was in June in the hot mm -hmm. summer and nobody wanted to come down there uh, and so and now we're moving it to March kind of the first show of the season it kind of kicks the show season off for especially us in Mississippi and um, and then the show season all together. Well Mississippi needed some shows. We now did. they did. We were struggling. And and I can understand about the June part because I know it gets hot. Oh gosh. It gets but uh, hot. <laughs> but now being the first show of the season, a lot of people are gonna go try out some of their yes. their two year olds, three year olds, but uh, any special classes that you have. Oh uh, no, I mean we got uh I mean we'll have We've got racking classes. We'll have the racking classes in there. Uh, we, we added, uh, I know country speed in the, in the racking world is a big deal now. And so we've, at, we've added a country speed class this year. Um, and, and pretty much, I mean, we, it's going to be walking in racking classes. We'll have juvenile class in racking. We'll have uh, specialty action, amateur class. Um, How many total classes y'all got? It's 55, 55 50, classes. 55, so that's split up to where you're not there all hours of the right, night. That's yeah. good, that's uh, good. Friday night we'll start at 6 p.m. and then uh, Saturday we'll start at 5. So that's good. And that's the dates again? Uh, March 8th and 9th. March 8th and 9th in Philadelphia, Mississippi. And for any information you people want out there, Luther's going to give you his phone number. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, my phone number is 601-324-1093. Uh, uh, call me. If I don't answer, leave me a message. Send me a text message. Uh, do all that good stuff. Uh, no, normally I answer, but sometimes I'm a little busy. But I, I'll answer text and voicemail and call you back. That's for sure. All righty. Well, Luther, I wish you the best of luck. I hope y'all have a huge show. Thank and you. looking forward to... Maybe somebody will send us some video from down there. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to do that. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro. 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion Stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat, Days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. <laughs> Glad to be back here at Water Horse. We had a good luncheon there in Alabama at the Camp Smile and Mile Benefit to help support them. I mean, I tell you, that's a good thing. I just, <clears throat> for the people that come out, I really appreciate it. And the interviews we had was very e educational. I can't wait to see him this year in the 3 year division. 
He'll be a lot stronger, a lot more put together, and I think he'll be one to look for during the celebra at the celebration. So proud for Bob, for Bob Adcock, he's a real good guy. They can look through that bridle. Kingpin, 15-2 and under amateur, reserve horse of the year. Can't wait to see him show this year. He have towed a lot of blue ribbons out of that ring. Now, Bob, I'm going to tell you, he's an excellent rider. Born a Maverick. There's another good one. He's stepping up in that big league now. He's going to that five-year-old division this year, but I'm going to tell you, he can handle himself. And this horse here speaks for himself. The ultimate honor. This horse here is going to really show out this year in that pony class. That would be a real good class with all the ponies that's going in there. My hat's off to, to the Horny family. I think Clay is running just as fast as the horse back there. That young man surely can ride. Real nice horse, real nice. Dark rain. This little horse is like a sewing machine now. He just does it, does it right. Taylor is a real good rider. I mean, I think she she can ride anything. If you can put a bridle on it, I believe she can ride it. Agri have done a real good job with that horse. I tell you, every time you see her in the ring, you're going to hear her name called in the top two every time. Pretty much. I mean, she rides some good horses. That family has some real top horses there. Congratulations, Taylor. You deserve it. Getting it done right there. It's another real good mare right here, my honeybee. That's why I say that Taylor, I mean, her whole family, they got some some top horses. This mare here is, is consistent, walk and shake, look through the brow. Back end, front end, everything just 
is perfect on her. Here's mom on there sh showing her riding ability. She's a real good rider. That's a real nice lady there. She's always smiling, pleasant to talk to. Just a real nice lady. Mr. Paul Simmons on Patrick Mahone, the novice glass winner, horse of the year. Congratulations. That's a real nice horse. Paul's a real good fella. I'm glad to see him in the ring. They finally met up with each other and, and won a blue ribbon. I got a little, a little part to do with this little horse. I started him for Terry Maneer. That's, that's a nice horse. Congratulations. This horse here got a big story behind him. I tell you, Paul's wife is a real nice lady, Tiffany. She's, I'm glad she was there to see him win them roses like that. Next year, he'll have to step up in another division now, but congratulations. Now this mare here, she's a nice mare too, Harley Quinn. She sits up in that brow, walks and shakes all over. Bev is a good rider. She's doing what you won't want to do there. Walk and shake. I like the way Beth sits a horse. Mr. Twisted with honors. Amateur 50 and over. Horse of the year. That's a nice horse, Tyler, and them do a real good job. And Kayla, well, everybody always say Tyler, but Kayla got a big part of that too. She's a. It's Allison. She's she's a real good rider and got a bunch of good horses. I tell you, this is another, I always keep saying about these mares now, these, this year, this last year, and this year here, I think gonna be the year of the mares. It's smoking. She's, her name fit her just right, she's smoking. She was smoking with Jimmy riding and now with, with Tyler, got the reins, I mean, she's, she's smoking, really smoking. And this horse right here now, I show pledge a horse. <laughs> he catches my eye. He'll be a, a tough horse in that class. Everything's easy, smooth, walking and shaking, and just like he's having fun doing it.
Nice horse. That's another one of his owls and horses. That man there is, is a top one. They, they, them Balkans, they does a real good job with their horses. I mean, the proof is in the pudding there. You just look of all the ones they show and all the ones, a lot of them come out with blue. And this man right here, he's, he's something else. That uptight Jose is a real good horse. Mr. Bruce is a heck of a guy. I mean, a guy is real good for this industry. Had helped a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I might tell you, you might be looking at the next world grand champion right there, that Cavender. You might be looking, he's a, he's a be up there big with it. I mean, that's a, that's a real, a real horse. That class will be a real tough class again this year. We got a lot of good horses that are gonna be in there. And I say he'll be up in that top. Another one of Bruce and Robin's top horses. Knox done done a heck of a done a heck of a job with that horse. Looking forward to seeing this this horse in the ring this year. And this horse here, I walk across a long field just to watch him work. And I don't re really walk too far nowhere. But now I will walk to see him. <laughs> Mr. Eli and the medalist. Eli's a, a real good rider now. I tell you, he's a young man. He's he gets it done too. He got he got a real good family. Um, nice young man and a nice horse. I've done a lot of winning this past year with that horse. That's what you call a lot of blue right there. The blue ribbon, blue roses, and a blue suit. <clears throat> Miss Carol. And former line horse, I tell you, he's he's a real nice horse. Dale and Josh does a good job.
Miss Carol, she's she's a real nice lady. Always there to talk to you and speak to you. And so proud for her. So proud for that whole team right there. For the Watts and Miss Carol and everybody that's kind of hometown all the way around from Louisiana, Mississippi. That's kind of hometown for me. Real top horse. Cousin Bob and Jimbo Connor. I got to see this horse here some, but now it's a real nice horse. It's Mighty Jose horse is a real good horse. Shane Porterfield. Mr. Tanner just got married. Congratulations. Good horse. And Mr. Dan Waddell, and honor and remember. It's another horse you'll see in the state class that'll be a tough horse in that class. Dan kind of reminds me of a younger version of Jim McConnell. If he have a horse, he gonna show it. Good horse, that honor to remember. Real good horse. Congratulations to all the horses that won the horse of the year and reserve. Some real talented horses and everything. And one thing I wanna thank Mr. Jerry Harris for helping me at the beginning of the show. I mean, He's a guru of this thing, and he want to get all this stuff started. I just want to appreciate everything he done and everything he tried to help do for this industry. And I hope everybody have a good weekend, and see y'all later. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.